All right. Well, good. All right. Yeah. Why don't we, why don't we get started? Um, sure. Now, obviously, everybody, um, you know, if people join us later, they'll get a they'll, they'll receive a recording um, afterwards, and they can they can view. So if anybody okay. comes in, you know, a little bit late, they'll they'll be able to see what they missed. Um, all right. Let me. Uh, yeah, some of, some of them might be uh, just getting off for lunch and everything too. So here in the Midwest. Yeah, that's central, true. Central time. Very true. All right. Well, why don't I? Uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? Sure. Um, so, uh, just like say uh, hello to everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Um, my, my name is Adam Page. I'm the digital marketing coordinator for Medical Monks, uh, and we're uh, very happy to welcome you to our very first webinar, uh, which we're calling the Monk Posium. Um, this is going to be an ongoing uh, monthly series, so please keep an eye out in your email and social media for future of, future event announcements. Um, if you don't follow us on social media or uh, belong to our email group, I, I'll put uh, links over in the chat um, in a little bit. Um, so please please do that if you uh, if you don't. Um, but today we are thrilled to have with us Gary Peel. Uh, Gary is a national accounts manager for LNR USA, a world-renowned manufacturer of medical supplies and one of Medical Monk's closest partners. Uh, Gary travels all over the country speaking to clinicians about healing strategies, and uh, he's here today to speak with us about wound hygiene. Um, if you have any questions for Gary, please go ahead and uh, answer them in the chat. Uh, you can do that anytime you like. I'll be monitoring the chat uh, during Gary's talk and we'll do our best to hit them all during the Q&A session at the end. Um, so without further ado, uh, take it away, Gary. All right. Hey, thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Again, as Adam said, I'm Gary Peel, the uh, National Accounts Manager for LNR's Wound Care Division here in the U.S. And again, it's great to be here. Uh, excited. We've got uh, a couple things through the, the month of June. I believe that through uh, medical monks, it's it's uh, you've been acknowledging the uh, wound care awareness month, and you've probably seen some of the uh, emails and newsletters around the four uh, steps or uh, phases for uh, excellent wound healing or wound hygiene. And so today, that's what I'm going to be covering is some of those steps um, and introduce you to a product from LNR that's going to be able to help you uh, with your wound uh, cleaning as you continue that process of wound hygiene and wound bed prep. So uh, one of the things I do uh, want to stress or, or acknowledge, and that is I have a disclaimer, and that is that I want to want to note this uh, before we get started, and that is that, and I'll just read this for verbatim, and that is that please note that uh, I am not a, a physician or a, a clinician that the information shown um, during the webinar and the suggested product details um, are information that you can use to hopefully help you uh, with your wound cleaning process. Each uh, individual's wound is different. So uh, always make sure to ask your provider, your doctor, your uh, clinician as far as for uh, further information uh, or diagnosis and guidance as you uh, uh, work with them uh, to understand your personal uh, wound healing uh, process. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on, we've got some slides for you here. So one second, and I'm going to minimize myself. And again, there's uh, my mug shot. So that's, that's kind of scary. Um, but again, thanks everybody for joining. And again, today talking a little bit about wound hygiene and wound bed prep. There's actually uh, four steps. Wound hygiene is actually uh, kind of a, 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 say a new concept, a relatively new concept uh, in the medical field. It's becoming more and more acknowledged uh, compared to the traditional, what we call the, the old school methods of the, you might've heard of wet to dry where they got a piece of gauze and uh, then they put a dressing on. So 
Um, previously, that's what the focus was on, was on basic wound care, was uh, cleaning and then putting the dressing on. With, and there wasn't really very uh, much emphasis or specific uh, emphasis on infection prevention. So wound hygiene, though, actually recognizes um, the critical role that infection prevention plays in that healing process. So it actually addresses, wound hygiene actually addresses it more proactively. And that's what we're really going to talk about and discuss as far as those four steps. Uh, again, on the slide, it, it talks about the four steps. There's actually, uh, the first step is, of course, wound cleansing. Second step is wound debridement. After that, it's refashioning of the wound edges. And the fourth and final step is dressing the wound. Today, we're going to cover, we're not going to spend a lot of time and detail on, on all of them, all the all different four uh, steps, but we're going to concentrate on, and what I'd like to discuss mainly is the first two as far as the, the wound cleansing and uh, wound debridement. So wound cleansing, and flip, flip the slide over here, and here we go. So on wound cleansing, it's, it is a critical step there by using, uh, you know, your mild cleansers or like a sterile saline solution, it's possible to effectively uh, eliminate those, uh, say, debris or bacteria or uh, any non-viable tissue that maybe is there in the wound uh, with, with your wound cleanser or a saline solution. It is a critical step. It's the very first one as far as it helps reduce the uh, risk of infection and uh, it creates an, an optimal, like it says on the slide, it creates an optimal environment for, for wound healing. So it's, it is important and we're going to discuss that a little bit more in, in detail. The, the second step um, that we have is wound debridement and on the wound debridement, um, it talks about it's actually where it's probably the most important step of the four and that is it's actually, you're actually removing um, the non-viable tissue as far as you're removing the debris or bacteria. Uh, biofilm is another one there that's listed. And then the necrotic tissue, maybe that hard uh, necrotic tissue, that dark uh, necrotic tissue that's in the wound bed. So uh, wound debridement actually, uh, we'll talk about that in, in a minute, but there's a, a, a point that I want to make and talk a little bit more about, and that's the word biofilm. And we do a lot of uh, different uh, conferences and national shows and seminars and things like that. And we, the big buzzword at a lot of these conferences is biofilm and the removal of biofilm. And so uh, I want to spend just a minute talking about what is biofilm. It's actually a micro colony of say microbes or cells that they actually stick together and they create kind of a shield. And I, I've got a slide here that shows it's pretty good little uh, uh, depiction as far as this showing the little, uh, all those little uh, cells or microbes or even the bacteria, they form together. And then what happens is they form this barrier, if you can see that, that shield, uh, the dragon is actually the healing agent, like your maybe your calcium alginate or your collagens that need to go into that wound. But the biofilm actually forms a shield or a barrier that actually hinders, um, uh, it renders those uh, dressings, whether it's the collagens or the calcium alginates to actually get down inside the wound um, it performs that barrier. And so we've got to figure out a way to remove that biofilm. It's really, really important for, uh, again, to finish cleaning the wound uh, in your wound bed prep and wound hygiene. So as far as debridement, how do we get rid of that, um, you know, non-viable tissue? And how do we get rid of that biofilm? And we, we have a neat little product I'm going to show you in a second. But in the U.S., uh, debridement most of the time has been seen as more of a, a surgical procedure 
uh, performed by a doctor or a nurse practitioner where it actually involves using a, a sharps instrument or like a curette. They're actually uh, cutting or scraping away the uh, non-viable tissue. As far as in the wound bed, they're actually removing the biofilm and the bacteria, the loose slough. And they're doing that, like I said, with a scalpel or with a, a curette, uh, sometimes very, very painful to do. Uh, but we want you to remember that there actually are some other methods that you can use. And we're going to discuss that here in a minute as far as um, for methods of wound debridement that actually can be used. Uh, they don't have to be used by uh, a doctor or provider. Um, your clinician or home health nurse can use them. And actually now um, the patients, if you're uh, dealing with a wound and you're in your home, you can actually use the, the product in your home uh, or your home health care nurse or provider can, can use it in the home. So today, super excited about telling you about a product that's really going to help you uh, with your, you know, wound hygiene and wound bed prep uh, as, you, as you move forward. So what is this product? Uh, over the last five or six years, um, we've actually been into the wound clinics and promoting a product uh, called Debrasoft. And the Debrasoft products are, are used in hospital wound clinics and in clinical settings uh, throughout the country. And the neat thing is that uh, if you're dealing with a wound and you're at, at home, you can now use the product at home and uh, again, we're going to discuss that and uh, tell you how you can get that through uh, medical monks in a little while. But so what is Debrasoft? And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. And I'm just going to read this from the slide. But Debrasoft, uh, it says on, on the top there, the tagline says, and we've got a couple different taglines uh, that we use. And we'll, we'll, I'll tell you another one in a minute. But um, Debrasoft, because every wound deserves a clean start. And that's, again, talking about wound hygiene and wound bed prep, it's critical. That first step of cleaning the wound and removing that non viable tissue and removing the biofilm, bio burden, loose slough is very, very important. So Debrasoft products, as it says, are unique, safe, highly effective wound cleaning monofilament devices. It's actually a 100% polyester fibers. They're monofilament fibers. The fibers are specially cut, if you can see me, as far as they're beveled in the corner. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you another slide. You can see it a little bit better, but the, the fibers, they actually uh, significantly improve wound bed prep uh, for both acute and uh, chronic wounds. Uh, I will say this, if you're dealing with a chronic wound, uh, I've seen this firsthand where patients, they've been dealing with their wound for, for months and months. And they there's probably uh, the reason it's not healing is there's maybe some hidden uh, biofilm that's, that's down inside the tissues of that wound. And they need to be removed so that those dressings, again, the collagens or the alginates that they're using can, can work. So... The Debrasoft fibers actually get inside that wound and will help remove that. Debrasoft pads are also ideal for uh, cleaning wound surfaces. Uh, also removing, if anyone out there is dealing with lymphedema or has that uh, hyperkeratotic or keratosis or dry skin, those scales, uh, I tell people is kind of like the alligator scales or skin. Um, it will help you want to soften those up. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute as we do a demo. But um, the Debrasoft Lolly, and we have uh, the Lolly here. I can show you that. You can see it on the picture. It actually has a flexible uh, polyurethane uh, unbreakable handle. And it has the same monofilament fibers uh, as the pad. And the Lolly was really designed for uh, tunneling areas or deep tunneling wounds, undermining. And then actually where I've seen it work really well. Uh, is uh, if you have uh, diabetic feet uh, between the toes. So that's something to think of. Um, Debrasoft, there's four things that we tell everyone about. And I like to hit these, uh, highlight these points. The first one is very, very important. And we tell all the, the clinics and the docs this. And that is the first one says it, it's actually clinically proven. It was actually 
uh, the Debrasoft was published in the Journal of Wound Care. Uh, it will actually reduce uh, biofilm, bio burden slough anywhere from 90 to 99 percent. So very, very important. Uh, it was actually uh, in the lab. They uh, grew Pseudomonas bacteria on pig skin explants, and then they used the Debrasoft to remove that bacteria. And again, it removes or reduced it anywhere from 90 to 99 percent. So it's clinically proven. The second one, uh, it does work very rapidly. The uh, Debrasoft, as it says, uh, visible results within two to four minutes. I always like to let everyone know it, it's very important uh, and it depends on the size and the type of wound. If you've got a really large uh, venous leg ulcer or maybe you have that uh, keratosis or hyperkeratotic skin that's all across a, you've got a large area that you're, you, you know, going to be cleaning. Uh, it's going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, in a minute, we'll do this demo and you'll see how quickly it does remove uh, the pith from an orange. And, but again, it does save time. in that regard. No, it looks like we might and it's, be it's, having it's a little- save time and clean the wounds. The 7% of the wounds. What, what's that, Adam? Oh, I just, you were, um, you were freezing a little bit there for a sec, but I think you're, you're good now, All right? I'm sorry, carry on. Okay, yeah. The, uh, ver the third point, is the virtually painless uh, and 97 percent of the patients report no pain or side effects and this is this we hear this a lot as far as that a lot of the patients they actually uh, we've had uh, a rep recently that was in a smaller clinic and uh, almost half of their patients uh, wouldn't let them touch them because of the pain maybe somebody went in uh, with some gauze and uh, tried to, you know, scrub and clean the wound. And as we know, most wounds uh, do hurt. And so um, with that, the Debersoft, again, uh, grabbing the Debersoft pad as far as, and if you can see this, I'll hold this up, but the fibers on the pad, they're super soft. And again, when you're using it, uh, using it on the skin, when we're in the clinics, we pass it around, we let them uh, rub it on the back of their hand and they can tell we also have uh, clinicians that actually, uh, when they've got a patient that does have a painful wound, they actually let the patient you know, t touch the pad, let them maybe uh, feel it and know that uh, it's actually going to reduce that pain and, and not hurt them as much. So again, 97% of the patients report no pain or side effects. Uh, it is safe. The fourth point there, it is safe. It protects the granulation tissue. Um, and again, it is very easy to use. So keep those in mind. There's a lot of different uh, indications uh, that the Debrasoft, uh, again, it's recommended for both superficial, acute, and, and chronic wounds. And there's a whole list here as far as your leg ulcers, uh, diabetic ulcers, pressure ulcers, even burns. Uh, we work with a lot of the, the burn uh, clinics throughout the country, even uh, surgical uh, or as far as third degree burns after they've been surgically debrided. Um, uh, it's highly effective. Like I said, we, we do a lot with lymphedema and that hyperkeratotic uh, skin or keratosis, the dry scales um, works really well on that too. And again, uh, it, it has a specific mode of action and those fibers, as you can see, there's actually millions of monofilament fibers. The fibers are 100% polyester fibers. There's actually no chemical or enzymatic reaction or anything. The fibers, again, they're specially beveled, they're cut, and they're pointed on the tips. That, that picture on the right hand uh, of your slide, it actually shows those pointed tips and those fibers. They actually get down inside the wound bed. They actually lift and bind that non-viable tissue, and they actually pull it up into the pad, uh, including that hidden biofilm. We've had numerous... Uh, patients that had that chronic wound and they used the Debrasoft on it and they didn't really think it did very much. They went home and a couple days later they came back to the wound clinic and they were like amazed that 
how much the wound had progressed. And it's probably due to the fact that that uh, hidden biofilm that you don't even see um, is now has been removed because of those fibers getting inside that wound bed. So again, how it works and how you use it, the application of it, you're going to open it up and uh, the Diversoft comes sterile in an in a individual package. Uh, the second step is very, very important. And on the video, there's actually a little QR code. There's an in-service video. It's basically very similar to what I'm going to show you here. And that is that we want you to make sure that you hydrate the pad. And I always say it three times, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Saline or any normal liquid wound cleanser, you're going to hydrate the pad really well. A couple things um, that we always uh, mention, and that is that don't squeeze it. Don't wring it out. Just let those fibers, that moisture helps those fibers get down inside the wound bed. So you don't want to squeeze it or crush the fibers. And then um, we also recommend the fibers are actually specially woven into the backing. So if there's a special binding around the outside edge. So we don't want you to cut. So two things, don't squeeze it or wring it out. Just let it drip and then also don't cut it. So when you hydrate the pad, again, saline or any normal liquid wound cleanser, hydrate, let it drip. And then you're going to use kind of grip it for a smaller wound, kind of grip it with your thumb and your, uh, your little finger and put a couple fingers on the back side. And then you're going to use this. You're going to go in like a circular motion. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, just start at gentle pressure. You can go in a sweeping motion back and forth again. And then after you use that, you're going to discard it in normal waste. So um, I'm going to do a quick little demo and I'm going to actually go back to um, full screen. I think this will help show if you guys can see this. And I'm going to move my screen down a little bit to where you can see I've got an orange here and that orange I've already peeled it off. And you can see I wish that pith was a little more uh, had some color to it, orange or yellow, but it's more of a white. But you can see that pith underneath the peeling. That's actually the what we call the non viable tissue. If that was if you can imagine that being inside the wound and that would be your biofilm uh, a loose slough or bio, bio burden, anything like that, that needs to be removed. That's that barrier that needs to be removed so that your dressings, your collagens and your uh, uh, calcium alginates work. But how, how we're going to do this is, again, I'm going to hydrate the pad. So again, you're going to take your saline. I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to hydrate just a corner of it. I'm going to Hydrate it really well. Normally, you'd hydrate the whole pad. Again, just let it drip. And then we're going to take, set this over here. I'm going to take my orange again. And if you guys can see this, try to get as close as I can. I'm going to use just to start out gentle pressure. And I'm going to go in a circular motion. Again, you can go clockwise, counterclockwise. You can fold this a little bit and you can get down inside the creases. And I'm going to show you real quick if you can see those fibers getting down inside that. And in just a second here, you're going to be able to tell a big difference in the in this where the fibers. And again, it's real important around the 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 healing the uh, the wound edges. I was in a clinic recently, and one of the things they realized is they weren't getting around that wound edge even actually out like a, even up to like a half an inch or an inch outside that wound. But you want to start in, at the, uh, the inner part of the wound, and then you're going to clean that. And again, we have a term also, we say clean it like you mean it. And so you can actually press down a little harder. If you've got a large wound, you can grip it with just your thumb and your all of your fingers on the backside. And again, you can use that in a large uh, area. But for smaller wounds, Again, you can grip it, you can fold it, get down inside those creases. Again, circular motion, you can press down and get inside there. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm actually uh, squeezing that pretty good and removing that 
And if you can see the difference between that, the side, hopefully that depicts that, how clean that orange is, but it doesn't harm the soft cells. It, it's not going to harm the, the tissue, that granulation tissue on the wound. So again, the other product that we have is the Deversoft Lolly. Again, the Lolly was uh, has a the same monofilament fibers. It's on a polyurethane, a plastic flexible handle, and uh, it's unbreakable. It was really designed for like deep tunneling or undermining wounds. Where I've seen it work the best though in the clinics is those hard to reach wounds. And again, you can use it, hydrate, hydrate it really well. Again, you can use it um, saline. You can a cup, dip it in there. I'm just going to hydrate it with the the saline right here, and then I'm going to use it on the other side. Uh, and again, you can use it on a regular wound. And again, you can you can grip it like a say a pencil, or you can grip it, uh, grab it like a with your fist, and hold it with your thumb. And again, circular motion back and forth. And again, this, the lolly is great. If you don't want to touch the pad, you can use this and you can still, you know, clean that wound really, really well. So again, super, super easy to use. Again, most important is you want to hydrate the pad with saline or any uh, normal liquid wound cleanser. So that's a quick uh, demonstration, but you can see how that Deversoft will remove that pith without harming the granulation tissue. So last couple things, and then I'm going to turn it back over to Adam. I'm going to start this back over, go back to the uh, slides. And again, there's a lot of different things. I won't go through each one of these, but again, if you're suffering from maybe those wounds that you have uh, that you've been dealing with are uh, painful wounds uh, and you're very sensitive, uh, give Deversoft a try. Um, like I said, we hear it all the time that the Deversoft is a great product for those painful wounds. The second one um, is that slick, slimy biofilm. And again, this will build up. Uh, I didn't mention it before, but if you've ever been maybe uh, camping uh, overnight or uh, you forgot to brush your teeth and after a little while, you feel kind of a maybe a film on your your teeth or gums, that's actually the start of that that biofilm the other one is I, I like to use the example of you know if you've gone camping or a picnic and after a couple hours you you probably don't want to eat that food that's been left over if it's been sitting out again bacteria starts to form you know within a few hours biofilm starts to form anywhere from 12 to 24 hours so again overnight uh, that's the reason that you want to be proactive and you want to use the Deversoft to, to clean your wound and to help with that wound bed prep. Uh, loose slough, again, if you've, you've got that, the Deversoft works well. There are two, two things I will mention uh, that we, we tell the, the clinicians and that is that if you've got really fibrous or adherent slough, uh, you've got to use maybe a, a gentle autolytic or an enzymatic um, on that, or um, maybe put some, uh, there's a couple other products out there that can be used to soften that real fibrous or adherent slough first and then use the Deversoft on it. Uh, the last one I'll mention real quick is the, the keratosis or hyperkeratotic, those scales. Uh, a couple little tricks that we've learned through the years. Uh, one of the uh, speakers at the, one of the conferences talks about using the Deversoft in her clinic and she wraps a warm compress around the leg and softens it up. I've had some say they, they use some uh, lotions or uh, even like shaving cream, put it on those scales for a little bit, let them uh, soften and loosen up the scales. And then you, one thing you want to do if you are using any type of a lotion or emollient or uh, anything like that or creams, you want to remove that off, clean the uh, product off first and then you can use the Deversoft. Go in and clean that wound with the or scales with the Deversoft. And again, it's going to take you a little bit longer, um, but they, it does work really, really well. Uh, a couple of the other slides, as you can see, there's an infected uh, wound there with that uh, yellow uh, pus uh, for the infection. It'll it'll take that off, and then 
know, some of these have debris in them. That was a, like a lawn mowing uh, accident. Uh, the blade, uh, the foot slipped under the, the mower. And here's one where actually uh, the 4th of July is coming up and they, they had a fireworks ex explode in the face. And there's actually the fine uh, gunpowder is embedded into the skin. So Deversoft works on uh, like road rash also. So there's a number of different things that the Deversoft can work on. But um, that's, uh, like I said, a real quick run through. I hope uh, that you guys have uh, learned a little bit from the uh, presentation. And again, really appreciate you joining us. I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Adam. We've got, a, I think, a few questions that have come in. Uh, he's going to take over the that and then also tell you about a little special that we have. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I th thank you so much, Gary. Um, <clears throat> now, we do have uh, yeah, a few questions. We're going to have a, a brief Q&A with Gary here. Um, now, I do see uh, Donna uh, asked a question about, um, well, about another product not made by LNR, uh, Blastex. Uh, she says, my, my wound doctor uh, re-offended, I'm assuming she means uh, offered a Blastex uh, for healing my wound. It's pricey. He said that Blastex will be a valid prescription soon. Any idea when? Um, I mean, I, I can take that that question, actually. Uh, sure. Medical Mugs does sell uh, Blastex. Um, to be honest, we, we are not aware of, you know, when it may or may not, um, you know, have a billing code. Um, it's just what we sell all out of pocket. So we're not really, you know, that's not really our area. Um, right. But it does... Um, it does remind me about a question we have. We, we got a few questions about Deborah Soft from around the office. Also, um, one of my colleagues. Yes, hey, real, asked, real quick. Hey, real quick, oh, Adam, just, just to, just to kind of hate to interrupt there, but um, we do get uh, questions as far as uh, other products. And I, I didn't mention this uh, during the presentation, but Deborah Soft works really well in conjunction with a number of other uh modalities as far as you can use deversoft there's a product uh that's been around for a number of years called santal and and it's also there's medline has a product called a uh, pluragel and the, the the things with that and why deversoft works really well with those other products is because you put that on whether it's the santal or blastex or and they are very expensive number one but number two, you still have to remove that. So you put on a thin layer, they say like a nickel thickness or eighth of an inch of the uh, Santol Blastex Plurigil, and it, it let it do its job. You have to let it sit. That's the other thing too. An advantage with the Deversoft is you're going to see visible results just like you did. Like I when I was doing the orange demonstration, you're going to see uh, results very quickly, whereas some of the other products, there, there, you have to put it on the wound and it takes a couple, two or three days. You let it sit, then you come back. But however, you still need to remove that. Uh, you still have to remove the uh, product and that's where the Deversoft comes in. So just remember that, that if you do use one of those other products and they are very, very expensive, a couple of them, you know, you have to have a prescription. So just keep that in mind. The Deversoft is very inexpensive for what you're going to get and the benefits of using it and being able to use it right in the home. You don't have to have a prescription for it. So just kind of keep that in mind. So turn it back over to you, Adam. No, the, well, that's, I, I was just going to, you know, add on to that, um, you know, along those same lines uh, is Deborah soft covered by insurance. We have a lot of people ask. Oh, gr yeah. Great question. Actually, no, uh, Deversoft is not covered by insurance. Some of the clinics do, uh, if they use it in a the clinic, they can use uh, uh, what they call a CPT code, uh, 97602, which is for uh, mechanical debridement, and their their uh, clinicians or providers would be able to do that and bill for that. But as far as using it in the home uh, and stuff, as far as uh, the patients, if they order it through medical monks, uh, there's there's no... Uh, say Hicks code or there's no insurance code for reimbursement on it. 
So no, there is not. Um, I'm also seeing uh, there's a little bit of a back and forth going on in the chat. Actually, Gary, if you take a look in the, the okay. chat, see, but I, I maybe you want to weigh in here. Um, sure. But basically, it starts out with uh, Lynn uh, asking about how, how can I deal with macerated skin around the wound edges. Um, no, I'm not sure. You know that Deborah Soft is something that's going to deal directly with that issue, but there may be other LNR products that. Um, uh, yeah, know. we've got. Yeah, that's a, a perfect uh, tie-in. We do have a great product. It's actually got a German name. It's called Vlivasorb. It's V L I leave sorb and it's available through medical monks it's actually a super absorbent and if you've got macerating uh skin yeah the you need that's because because of the drainage that we've got uh foam dressings have an issue and that is that the they maybe absorb some of that moisture but that moisture needs to be actually uh pulled away from the skin and our product called leave sorb actually will pull that moisture away from the skin and helps with maceration. And the Blevisorb is available in uh, multiple sizes, everything from like a four by four clear up to uh, like an eight by eight square that can be wrapped around a, a big Venus leg ulcer or those even it was, it was actually developed for those oozing, weeping uh, lymphedema uh, patients too. So um, the Deversoft, it, it will help if the skin is again more dry and scaly um uh, that keratosis to remove that but the levisorb is definitely a product i would highly recommend that they uh take a look at and a ask uh, medical monks about the levisorb super absorbent yes yeah, so actually i just um in the chat i i just uh linked to uh to that product on the medical monks page if anybody wants to take a look um, great all right, and we have a few other questions um, that we've had around the office as well um, that I think sure. are just kind of things people generally wonder about uh, Deborah Soft. How, how much uh, water or or liquid uh, should you use to hydrate Deborah Soft? Well, generally? great, yeah, great question. Yeah, as far as on the on the lolly, if you're using the lolly, they recommend 15 milliliters on the pad. They say, I believe it's, uh, and actually I've got my, it's 30 to 40, uh, 40 milliliters. And on, we do have, and I didn't, I didn't mention it. I didn't show it, but we do have a larger uh, five by eight pad that actually has a pocket for those really large areas. The five by eight pad, they recommend 110 milliliters with that. So again, uh, the uh, Deversop, the most important thing uh, is that you hydrate it and hydrate it really well just let it drip uh, that's the thing is we do some uh conferences and that sometimes they get a sample they take it back and they forget to hydrate the pad and so we recommend that's why i say it three times hydrate 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 just hydrate the pad let it drip and then just again circular motion gentle pressure to start with and uh, just go to town on that wound and clean with it so saline or any normal uh, liquid wound cleanser, as long as it's a liquid wound cleanser. And there's a number of them. And those are also, I think, the cleansers. Medical Monks provides the wound cleansers so they can order that through Medical Monks also. Oh, yeah. We have a big variety of uh, liquid wound cleansers, certainly. Sure. Um, another question we get a lot about Deversoft, uh, can you cut it? Uh, actually, no, we don't recommend that. A couple things, and again, the, on the pad, the fibers, the the soft side of the fibers, again, is what you want to use. The back side, um, the fibers are actually woven into the binding or into the back backing, and there's actually a binding around the outside edge. So we, we don't recommend cutting it. If you cut it, then there'll be a raw edge. Uh, the fibers uh, are woven into the backing to keep them from from falling out so if you cut it you'd have that open edge so we we don't recommend that uh, we recommend Deversoft to be a single use product again if you're using it I didn't mention this on the demo but if you're using it on the orange and the, or on your wound and then you see that it's pulling out that that non-viable tissue 
maybe you've got a lot of loose slough or the the skin the the keratosis you can turn that and then use another corner turn it use another corner you can actually fold it and use the the center part of the pad or even open it completely up and use the whole pad um, on that wound so again um, we recommend it as being a single use product and then drop it in uh, just with normal waste. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, well, I think that that's, that's all the questions uh, that, that I've gathered from my colleagues here. Um, does anybody okay. else have any, any more questions? Uh, anybody here does uh, please uh, put in the chat now. Uh, we'll just give it a, Give it a minute here and see if we have anything else coming in. All right. Hey, Adam, don't forget about telling them about the special. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And, no, absolutely. I'm not going to forget about that. <laughs> how they can get the Deversoft. Yeah. Cause yeah. Get, you know, let me, uh, yeah, let's, let's bring that up. Um, yeah. It's a great, as great we, product. Uh, um, I, I hope they take advantage of it and they uh, try, try the Deversoft, especially those patients uh, that are, that are in the home and try to use it. Or even, as I mentioned earlier, as far as tell their home health care uh, provider or nurse about the Deversoft and maybe they can get it. Or uh, maybe if they go into the clinic, tell their uh, clinician or their provider at the at the wound clinic, say, hey, you we heard about this product called Deversoft. And if they don't know about it or haven't heard of it, maybe they can, can order it and start using it there too. Yeah, that's true. And that may be a roundabout way as well to kind of, um, at least while you're uh, under home health care, that is sort of a roundabout way for Deversoft to be covered by your insurance, at least during that period, you know. Exactly. Sure. Insurance is covering the cost of the the home health. And if the home health nurse orders from, uh, well, medical monks, ideally, but if they uh, right. you know, order from anywhere, then actually that's that is being covered by your insurance at least while you're under their care so sure exactly um but let me uh bring up this slide um so from now until the end of july um you can get 15 percent off the deversoft pad or lolly uh it's a one-time use coupon one per customer um but the code when you check out is soft 15 um so that's uh you know fairly unlimited thing. Um, but yeah, if you want to try Deversoft, um, please go to uh, medicalmonks.com or um, the link I gave you there, uh, medicalmonks.com slash Deversoft. Uh, if you place that in your cart, check out, use code SOFT15, get 15% off. Sounds great. Good deal. Um, and let me... Take a look here. We do have uh, we have another question for from Lynn here. Um, can okay. the can the Vlewazorb, uh be used under a wound vac drape? Uh, actually, actually, not the Vlevasorb. The Vlevasorb actually has. Uh, maybe we need to do a. We'll do a. Maybe we can do another webinar or a demo on the yeah. uh, the, the Vlevasorb. But the super absorbent, the Vlevasorb actually has a top layer uh, on the non-border version that actually has a non-woven border that prevents strike through. It actually has a fiber core. Uh, I like to call it the, it's got the baby diaper material inside the dressing and it will actually absorb, it will actually pull the moisture up into the pad and lock it in. It pulls it away from the wound so it helps with that maceration but the, the key to it is on the top layer, it prevents that moisture from continuing. If they're using ABD pads and that uh, the ABD pad continues, the moisture continues to soak through to get into the secondary dressing or into the clothing or even the bedding or linens, the Vlevasorb will actually stop that and they, it's going to save on a number of dressing changes. So uh, it's really beneficial in that regard. It actually will, we do a demo where we pour water in, a, in the bottom of the plate and you can watch the moisture, the, the water actually be absorbed 
even from the sides of the the, the uh, plate or the bottom into the pad up into the dressing and then what i do when i'm live in the clinics is i'll take that dressing after a, a minute or so and i'll actually put the dressing on my arm and push on it because it was actually designed you can actually use it under compression and there you can pull it a, away from your my arm or the sleeve and it's dry there's no wet spot and so it's again it's pulling it away from the skin and it really helps with maceration so yeah we'll we'll see about maybe getting uh, some information uh to to lynn or some other information regarding the uh other products that we have while i'm on can i make a plug <laughs> we do friendly, have friendly. we have a great uh two collagen products the uh deborah soft uh you know clean the wound first and then if you're using collagen powder uh, we have a product called BioCall that's in a, an accordion dispenser. And then we have a really nice, it's uh, one of the only collagens that's 100% pure type 1 collagen called um, BioPad. We do have a... Oh, you fro froze out a little bit, Gary. <laughs> a really nice... Oh, there he is. Uh, Well, well, he's coming up to speed. I'm, uh, I'm going to link everyone that are in the available chat through uh, my uh, medical monks. Yes, yeah, you froze out for a second there again, Garrett. But I, um, where well, you seem to be back now. I'm going to link everybody in the chat to just okay. our brand page for just all of LNR's wound treatment. So all of those products you just mentioned, uh, you'll see oh, on nice. this page. Sounds great. Well, thanks, Adam, for doing that. And thanks, everyone, for uh, joining. Like I said, I hope it was uh, beneficial that you learned a little bit. And uh, like I said, think of uh, the Deborah Soft when you're you know, looking at, at uh, being proactive and cleaning your wound. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much, Gary. I, I really appreciate your time. Uh, we're, uh, I, I really thank you for being our, uh, our first webinar. Uh, you're a little sure. bit of our guinea pig, but I think it went great. Um, and we're right. really excited to have you back anytime. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. All right. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, everybody, for coming.